welcome one, welcome all, wherever you all are, whatever time zone you're, you're in. This is a Cup of Joe with Joe. Uh, today's topic is going to be below grade waterproofing and water control. Uh, this really shouldn't be a mystery. Uh, the Romans figured that out over 2,000 years ago. Of course, the Greeks claimed that the Romans took it from them and the Sumerians said that the Greeks took it from them. And I, I don't think there are many Sumerians around, but anyway, um, the Romans did a pretty good job. They divided it into two categories or two strategies. The first was to keep the water away from the building. Uh, site grading, control of runoff of your building, uh, sloping things away, you know, the famous Greek-Latin motto, don't be a dope slope, um, comes from uh, the Romans. That may or may not be true, but it's, you know, it's a coffee, it's a coffee show. This is the way it works. Um, then assume that all of your efforts at controlling uh, surface water have failed. So do everything you can to keep the water away from the building, but then assume that you're unable to. So what you want to do is limit the ability of the water to penetrate beside your building, and that was done with clay caps and um, impermeable materials. We, of course, violate that all the time by planting <laughs> uh, plants and irrigating them and, and whatever, and so we don't do a very good job at that. The Romans would not be amused. The other part of this is to control the below-grade part and that is to control hydrostatic pressure. Basically drain the water away from the foundation wall. If you have a hole, but you don't have water pushed through the hole with a force, you're not going to have a leak. A leak requires basically three things. It requires water, it requires a hole, and it requires a force. Um, the Romans, and we today accept that we're going to have water. Uh, many of us believe that we're not going to have holes, and I think that's a false premise. So one of the, I think the most robust approach is to get rid of the force, and the force is the one that we worry about most of all, is hydrostatic pressure. Hydrostatic pressure is basically the weight of water. So one inch of water weighs one inch of water. Um, 10 inches of water weighs 10 inches of, of water. We use inches of water as the ruler or the metric for how much force occurs. To put that into perspective, uh, one inch of water weighs 250 pascals. Pascals is a dead French guy, and so the English defined a pascal as a newton per square meter, and newton is a dead English guy. The French and the, and the, and the English have had this problem of identity for a, for a, for a, for a long time. But uh, what's the relevance here? Um, 250 pascals, or one inch of water, is about a 70 mile per hour wind. And so, you know, that's a, a hell of a force if you've got one inch of water uh, on your wall, you've got one inch of water on your foundation. We have feet of water on uh, uh, many, many inches of water on a foundation wall. The force is uh, below grade are extraordinary. And the key is to drain the water away from the foundation. The Romans did it with free draining materials. They had rocks and they had sand. And what is the big deal with rocks and sand? Well, they're, they're full of holes. It was the Holy Roman Empire. Okay, reach, and, reach for that one. I'm, the point is, is if you've got holes and the water drains through the holes, um, you don't have the force. And they drain the water down to a subgrade drain or a perimeter drain. We're all familiar with that today. We drain the water away. We're basically lowering the groundwater table adjacent to your foundation wall. So if there is a crack or a hole and there's water, there isn't water present because we've drained it away to control the hydrostatic pressure. Well, the most recent innovations in this technology is we don't necessarily need the sand or the gravel to control the hydrostatic pressure. 
what we can do is put a layer on the outside of our foundation wall that drains the water away. And the key to this layer, this material, is holes. And you, know, you can do it with uh, a drainage board. You can do it with uh, a sheet of plastic that's got dimples on it. Um, and they've got to be pretty big dimples. I would call them Cary Grant-like dimples. He was a, yeah, I know, look him up. He was handsome and debonair and elegant. And, and that's what you actually want in a below-grade water control system. You want something that's um, going to drain the water away so there isn't any hydrostatic pressure. The other thing that uh, we want to do is also to provide what we would call a capillary break. Um, materials are very, very porous uh, to water. Some materials are very porous to water. For example, concrete. Concrete is very porous. And so uh, we want to take the pores in the concrete and fill them in or take the pores in the concrete and make them big. Uh, one of the ways that we control capillarity under a slab uh, is we put stones. Stones are large pores and they are a, a capillary break. We can use exactly the same technology on our below grade walls. Um, if they're made out of concrete, we can have holes there. So if you have a layer of material that's got dimples on it or has got holes in it or and, and, and doesn't have basically water in the material, you've got a very, very effective capillary break. So the big secret to control below grade water is to get rid of the water to control hydrostatic pressure and provide a capillary break or capillary control. Now, is it conceivable that you can build a foundation without holes? Well, yeah. Uh, good luck with that. I mean, I, I love uh, concrete, and we can argue whether the Romans invented concrete first or whether that English guy in the 1800s who basically patented it and named it Portland Cement did, but my view is that there are only two kinds of concrete in the world, concrete that cracks and concrete that will crack. And so I believe we're going to have pathways below grade and that the best way to deal with it is to have materials that can span the cracks and control hydrostatic pressure and to provide a capillary break. Um, it, it doesn't get better than having those three things um, done in your foundation. And with that, enjoy your cup of coffee. I'm enjoying mine and uh, looking forward to talking with you again.